Next up on the list is Ansem 1. Uh, probably the worst fight in the game. Uh, not from a risky standpoint, like you're going to die or anything, but just from an awful standpoint. Uh, the terrain likes to fight you a lot in this fight. Uh, the basic idea is to hit Ansem 1 as much as possible when he's vulnerable, and when he has his Guardian up, use R's Arcanum, because you can actually hit through the Guardian with R's and uh, land hits on Ansem. Problem is, because of the terrain being so messed up in this area, you end up missing a lot. Uh, so, <clears throat> rolling into the cutscene over there, or, or I'm normally super glad to do it, but that'll initiate the fight. I just want to explain a couple things real quick. Um, basically, the ideal scenario is to get Ansem over into this corner and keep him there. Uh, that is pretty much going to lend you the best fight. However, his movement is pretty random, so it's very hard to actually corral him into this corner, and there's not much you can do about it. Uh, I'm only going to record this video once, because I want to show just like how random Ansem can be, uh, since I most likely won't get a really good fight on this first try. Uh, over here in this corner is like one of the worst places you can have him, because he can fly up incredibly high and just be completely unreachable. Uh, the other worst place you could have him is over here, um, because due to these ridges being here, <clears throat> it makes it hard to do like consistent combos on him, and this just pit area is not good at all. He can have like very weird heights, he could kind of float like up here uh, and make it really hard to hit him. So like I said, you want to try to get him over into this corner as much as you can. There's not a ton you can do to influence his position, but just trying to see like see when he's going to back away from you and, and uh, aim him into that corner. So I'll do my best. But this will mainly show how this how trash this fight is. The main trick is just knowing when your next attack will end up whiffing and deciding not to do it if that's the case. So he gave me the uh, pattern that I like to see, which is that he opened with uh, he opened with the swipe attack. He can open with the swipe attack, or he can open with the uh, discs. And the discs are kind of hard to reflect, in my opinion, so I prefer to see him open with the swipe attack. So as you saw, I kind of moved down towards the bottom right of the map. Yeah, so th those are the discs. And he will keep spamming those, most likely, if I don't reflect one back at him. So I have to, like, try. Uh, I'm really bad at reflecting these. Uh... The thing about this fight is that Goofy has a ton of MP now. Oh, actually, he should have more than that. I forgot to give him. You want to give Goofy Ray of Light. Uh, I forgot to do that, so he should normally have more MP. Not a big deal, though. Uh, so you can use Ars Arcanum a lot, and um, you won't generally run out of MP too often. So he's too high for me to hit him with Ars. He just came down, so I'm able to hit him now. A bit late. You want to dodge the submit move like that? Just as he's about to hit you, just roll. So this corner can work if he stays near the ground, which he's actually being really nice at doing right now. But he's, it's really easy for him to fly up this corner, so that's why it's not ideal. Yeah, so if, I would probably have had enough for another R's there if, um, if I had remembered to give Goofy the Ray of Light. But this fight's almost over. When he, If he submits one of your party members and you have enough MP, you can R's Arcanum through the orb attack. So that was a really, really bad fight. Um, as you saw, he flew all over the map, and there were a lot of points where I wasn't really able to touch him at all. Uh, but that's pretty much how it can go in any like just average run. Um, you practice this fight as much as you can, try to learn how you can corral him into corners, but know that it is a place to lose a significant amount of time. Uh, and just be prepared for it. That's the best I can recommend. Yeah, that's the fight. Don't forget to put Ray of Light on Goofy beforehand and do the rest of the menu, um, which I recommend finding menu notes for. I'll be publishing some uh, like text-oriented guides to uh, kind of go with these videos in the future, so that'll be a helpful place to see menus.